you guys, Missy here and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are going to do a review slash wear test of the LipSense lipsticks. If you guys follow me on social media, you know that I do sell this product. So I thought I would jump on here, show you guys how to apply it and how it wears throughout the day. So I'll bring my vlog camera with me um, today and show you guys how it wears throughout the day. I don't even know how else to explain it other than the fact that it's unreal, it's magic, it doesn't come off unless you remove it, and yeah, maybe I'll show you guys how I remove it too when I get home later tonight. We're just going to dive right into it and I'm going to show you how this product works. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. That helps other people see this video. Hit the notification bell beside it so you don't miss any future videos from me. And yeah, YouTube is asking people to do a lot lately, but help a girl out, subscribe, give it a thumbs up, hit that notification bell, and we can get right into the video. Okay, so I think the shade that I'm going to use today is Aussie Rose. It's a really, really nice pink shade, and I thought it goes with my sweater, so that's what we're gonna go with today. If you guys purchase Lip Sense through me or through another distributor, you're going to get a starter kit if it's the first time you're buying it. And basically with the starter kit, you're going to get the lipstick shade of your choice. You're going to get a gloss, which we have, I think, 11 options, but we do recommend the glossy gloss to start just because it's the most moisturizing and it has shea butter in it. And then you're also going to get a remover. You're going to get these three products and basically that's your starter kit. So after you purchase the starter kit and you love the formula, you can go ahead and purchase lip shades on their own and gloss finishes on their own. You don't need to get the full kit, obviously, until you run out of the remover and etc. You can um, buy that later. So how it works is you want to apply the lipstick shade first, and you're going to apply three even layers of the shade. And then once it's all dry, you're going to go in with your gloss. Now you don't need the remover until the end of the day, and all you need to bring with you throughout the day is the gloss. That's all you're going to reapply throughout the day. First things first, I didn't do this off camera. I wanted to show you guys how I apply it and all the steps that I do to apply it, is you're going to exfoliate your lips. I'm just using this Hannah Lee Sugar Lip Scrub and I like this. I got this in an Ipsy bag and I've been using it ever since, so I really like that. I don't know why I have the urge to tie my hair while I'm doing this, even though it's just my lips, but we're going to tie the hair up for now. And I just take a little bit on the back of my pinky and go like that and then I'll just fast forward through this part so you guys don't have to watch it. Once you guys exfoliate your lips and your lips are nice and dry and clean, then you can go in with the lip sense. So you just wanna make sure that you shake the color really well and this will just blend the formula together. Also, I wanted to quickly mention, I know some of my customers have mentioned a alcohol smell to it. That's totally normal. It's just what keeps the product lasting longer and keeps it sterile. Um, so if you do smell a little bit of like a rubbing alcohol scent, it's totally fine. It's normal. A little bit of tingling to at first is fine, especially if you don't exfoliate your lips. This will actually exfoliate your lips for you if you don't do it yourself. This is the applicator that it comes on. It's just a regular doe foot applicator. What I like to do is just wipe off any excess product and just leave a little bit on there. And the trick to lip sense is you wanna make sure that you apply it in one motion. So you don't wanna apply it, or sorry, one direction. You don't wanna apply it this way and then go back over it because it's kind of like a magic eraser where when you go back, it's going to remove the product. So you wanna apply it from corner to corner, line the lips and then fill them in and then same thing for the top. So I'm not going to talk in this portion of the video. I'm just going to show you um, how I apply the first layer, and then I will explain how to layer the lipstick. This is the first layer of Aussie Rose. As you can see, it's not super pigmented at, per at first because we are just applying a thin layer and we're doing three layers today. It's really important that once you apply your first layer of lip sense and second layer, 
It's really important that while you guys are layering your lipsticks that you're not pressing your lips together. As you can see, I'm not pressing them together. You don't wanna do that until you have your gloss on because it will ruin the formula. So just apply the lipstick layer, let it dry, and then you're gonna go in with your second layer, your third layer. Then once you have the gloss on, you can rub your lips together and go about your day. Now that I feel like the first layer is dry, I'm gonna go ahead and put on my second and third layer following the same steps that we just did. I decided for the third layer that I'm actually gonna put on dark pink, and I just find that this one is a little bit too run down for this video. I want you guys to get a good feel of how the product works. So I'm going to go in with dark pink, which looks like this. And the cool thing about this product is that you can layer different colors and basically create your own shades. So I'm going to do two times Aussie Rose, which I just put on my second layer, and then I'm gonna do one time dark pink. Like I said, I do sell the product, so I'm going to leave my business email down below in case you guys are interested in making a purchase. I will ship to you, so let me know if you guys wanna see and hear about more of the products down below, and I can definitely reach out to you, or you can email me and we can get you set up with these amazing products. I absolutely love their skincare and their makeup. I'm wearing their climate control um, moisturizer. I'm wearing the Nangai oil. I have the anti-aging pore minimizer on. I'm wearing the tinted moisturizer today and as well as the lip sense. So the products are unreal and it looks so good on the skin. Um, so yeah, just hit up my email down below and we can talk. While I'm waiting for this to dry, I'm gonna go grab a cup so I can show you guys how it works. Oh, my foot fell asleep. I can't walk. I just wanna show you guys the time right now too. It's 11.10 currently, um, just so you know what time it is while I'm applying this. So when I check in with you guys later throughout the day, you can see um, how it's wearing. Now that the color is dry, I'm going to go in and top it with the gloss. I do get a lot of questions on if you can apply any gloss over top of the lipstick and will it still work? The answer is no. It's this combo that makes the formula the magic that it is. So you do need our gloss and you do need our color in order for it to work. You guys will notice that I've used this gloss a ton of times. It's almost empty and it hasn't changed colors and that's because of the formula. It doesn't come off. The only thing that's going to change colors um, as you use it is the remover and that's because it's removing the product. Now that we have the three layers on, I'm gonna go ahead and apply the gloss. Now that I have the lip gloss on, I can basically rub my lips, eat my food, drink my drink, and it's not going to transfer at all. Valentine's Day is coming up, guys, so this is the perfect gift for your lady if any guys are watching this video or for you guys to buy for yourself and yeah, you can smooch away all night and it will not come off. And I have a beautiful red shade as well that looks so pretty for Valentine's Day. So definitely hit me up in the comments down below um, or email me. I like to dramatically rub my lips so you guys can see uh, that it doesn't come off. Isn't that crazy? And I'm not editing anything out right here so you guys can see how amazing it is. I also got a white cup to show you guys that it doesn't transfer. So while you're drinking, oh here, let me show you that it's white all around. So while you're drinking, there's nothing in it, but it doesn't come off. I'm going to rub my lips on it as well. Does it come off? Isn't that crazy? So that's how the product works and that's how you apply it. Also gonna take my vlog camera with me throughout the day while I'm eating, while I'm drinking and show you guys how it wears throughout the day and also how to remove it. We are on the way to my grandma's house. I'm going to stop at Tim Morton's and get her some French vanilla because she loves French vanilla from Tim Hortons. So we're going to get some coffee and then we are going to head over. This is my grandma. Hi, <laughs> Hi <Lucy>. <laughs> She's <laughs> about to feed me, like always. What are we eating today? Shawarma. <laughs> mm. Teta, you have this lipstick too, right? You have the, not this color, but you have the other color. Yeah. Do you like it? I like this, yeah. No, but the one that you have. The one, yeah. 
You don't like the color. Oh, I forgot to bring you the color. The other one. It's too light, right? But it stays on all day? Yeah. This uh, doesn't show too much, you know. What color do you have again? Beige champagne? I show you like... Uh, like my sweater? Yeah. Mm. I have to bring you the other color. I forgot. Sorry. No problem, Habibti. <laughs> <laughs> you have <our> news. <laughs> this is what happens when you come to the house. She always feeds me. Yeah. I'll never be skinny. We're just leaving my grandma's. Whew. I ate a lot. Um, just wanted to update you on my lipstick. So it's about 1.36 right now. As you guys saw, I made a sandwich. I was drinking coffee. I had water, all of that. So that is the lipstick. Right now, I think it's time for some gloss. So I'm gonna put on some gloss. And the way I gauge if I need to put on any lip, any of the lip gloss is just based off of how dry it feels. So you can see the wand is still white. So right now I'm headed to the drugstore and then I might stop by my parents this afternoon or maybe I'll go after my mom gets home from work. I just wanted to say while I'm driving and in thought, I just wanted to say thank you for everyone for all the love on my last video. If you haven't seen my last video yet, I'll link it down below so you guys can watch it. I kind of go into depth on my concussion and how I got it. I talk a little bit about relationships. I answered your questions that you guys asked me on Instagram at the beginning of the year. So it's a long video, it's 33 minutes long, but you definitely get to know me a little bit better. Here. No, let go, let go, back up. Ready? Mia, sit. Sit. Oh, come on, listen, sit. Good girl, lay down, down. Lay down. Mia, lay down. Oh. You're not being very good right now. <gasps> Hi, beautiful. So it's about three o'clock. I'm probably going to start editing some of this video now so I have less to do later. This is the lipstick right now. So we're going nice and strong. I only applied the lip gloss once since we spoke. So yeah, so I'm just home now. I took a couple of pictures for Instagram and I'm just going to chill a bit, edit some of this video and watch some TV until I go to my parents' house. And yeah, I will see you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, so I am back for my final check-in. So it's 7.20 right now. I've been wearing the lipstick since, I think it was 11 or 11.30 that we checked in this morning. Yeah, 11 or 11.30. And I only, oh, I still have food in my mouth. I only reapplied the gloss one time today and the lipstick held up really nicely. It's kind of fading a bit on the edges and then a little bit on the inside. But other than that, for nine hours of wear, it looks pretty darn good. I'm gonna zoom you guys in so you can see what it looks like. As you can see, it kind of came off a little bit on the outside and then on the inside as well. But the great thing about this product is that it doesn't bleed. So if you're wearing like a red or the black, it won't bleed out. Um, so yeah, for nine hours of wear, and it still doesn't come off, and I only reapplied the gloss one time. Had I applied it even more, it probably would have worn even better. So I'm very, very impressed. Ah, I saw food all over my lips. I figured I would get on here and also show you guys how I remove it while we're here so you guys can see the removal process as well. But other than that, I'm really impressed with how it wears. Obviously, I love the product because I do sell it as well, but I thought I would do a full wear test for you guys so you can kind of see how it lasts throughout the day and then decide if it's something that you wanna purchase. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to remove it. 
So I'm gonna be taking the remover and you just wanna apply it to your lips and rub your lips together and kind of let it sit there for about 20 seconds so it could break apart the particles of the lipstick. And then I just have some baby wipes that I'm going to use to remove it. You can also use like a warm towel um, or anything damp with warm water or a makeup remover or baby wipes like I'll be using. Depending on the shade that you guys have, you might have to do this step a few times, um, but it's really easy to get off and it doesn't hurt your lips at all. And this is actually very, very moisturizing. And wipe it off so you can see it's coming off there. You can use the remover to remove the product at the end of the day, or if you make any mistakes while applying it, then you can just use it in little spots. Um, to fix your errors So I don't have much left on my lips, so I'm just going to apply it once more And rub my lips together So now I'm just going to rub off any excess product And that's it so guys, that completes this video. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not yet subscribed. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you thought of this video. Was it helpful or not? Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video.